everybody, and today is Taco Tuesday. But first, I have to say, where are all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA the People's Champion. And today, we are still discussing food. So the question is, what was something that you hate to eat as a child, but you now enjoy today? For me, it was grits. Like, we ate grits constantly growing up. Pancakes and cereal was pretty much, you know, like a delicacy thing. Um, and it normally came in, you know, it was like my dad's payday. So, you know, how do you feed like five kids in the most cheapest economical. way? Yeah, possible. Most economic way possible. Grits. I mean, you can eat grits for days. But anyway, so. But now that I'm an adult, I love grits. And I'm not really big on cereal and pancakes. Like, give me a bowl of grits with cheese and some butter. And to get in the real creamy, just a dash of heavy cream. If you really want your grits banging, it's that heavy cream and the butter and the pinch of salt. But anyway, I know um, being in college, people would be like, oh, you put butter in and, and salt in your, in your grits? Yes. But as Jay and I was talking about it, you know, I think people from up north must eat uh, farina. Yeah, they eat farina. Farina. So, which is a, what, a, a more grainy texture. Yes. But they add sugar to theirs. But, you know, being from the south, we're just like, why would you add sugar to your grits? But it's not really grits that they're eating from up north. Not unless I'm wrong, but you guys comment me. If y'all from up north, um, do you guys eat grits or is it farina? And if you do eat grits, are you really putting sugar in your grits or are you really putting sugar in your farina? That's the great debate question today. But anyway, drop it below. Uh, what was something that you ate all the time as a child that you hate, but now you love and you just got to have it? So hit the like button. That's right there because I did right like here, but it's right here. Yeah, hit that like button. And hopefully I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, man, get out my seat, ah! man. Why are you in my seat? Hey, check it out, man. Look, look, man. Listen, listen here, man. Look, my wife is doing an awesome job, and I know y'all be wanting her to take my spot, but she can't take my spot, and you know why? Because who am I? Let me tell you who I am. Yes, sir! What's going on? On everybody, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. I know I'm a little bit late, but it is what it is, man. Check it out, man. Look, I was trying to explain to her that a lot of people from up north they eat farina. People from the south eat grits, right? So when you're eating, when you eat, when you come up eating grits, and then you know, uh, let's say if you came up your whole life eating farina, I spent a couple of some, I mean, a couple of uh, years in Philadelphia or what have you, and um. They ate farina, and I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is this? And he was like, it's farina. I said, well, let me try that, man. I said, how are you supposed to eat it? He said, bro, put a little sugar with it and uh, and, and do it up. Some people like to put a little bit of that, uh, uh, what is it, cinnamon in it. Like this is how I like my farina right here. I like it just like that, creamy, like the cream of wheat. And I put all types of, um, I put bananas. I put uh, all types of, of ve I'm not vegetables, fruits in it. And it's so good, man. That's how I eat it. But I also eat my grits, too. But like I was telling Bridget, a lot of people come down and then they never really seen grits before because it's a lot of farina up north. A lot of people up north have seen grits, but a lot of people have not. And so they come down and the closest thing, they say, well, just give me the, just give me farina. And they're like, what is farina? You're like, well, it's hot cereal. And then they give you grits and then you start fixing it like, like you would fix your farina. And then you taste it and you're like, well, this is not farina at all. But it's close enough. But anyway... I, I love both, so I can't decide. So if you want to put, eat both of them, you eat both of them. Anyway, man, check it out. First things first, I pop and freak all the honeys. Your boy running 2K wall streaming again last night. I got no proof of this because you cannot look at uh, caffeine. But he said he was streaming last night. And he says, um, uh, your boy Mitchell says, just so everyone knows, running 2K dropped off the real bandit tonight on stream. And then Ronnie says they never make YouTube videos about that. I can see, I can see why. Uh, I can see why people say he's really good, though. I'm just better. Ooh, look at Ronnie 2K. Look at the shade, boy. Look at the hey, say LMFAO. 
go crazy. Look, everybody on running side. Nothing, nothing gets you back in the good graces of people in the community like dropping somebody off at right running. We thought you was trash. We thought you couldn't play the game at all. Hey, Mike, I'm, I need to follow you, boy. I need to put you on there. Let me follow Bandit too, man, because you know what I'm saying? I need to be stay up in this thing. And then, you know, uh, you're the face of the 2K game and, and nothing but bugs. Like, bro, come on, man. Let that man have his moment. He ain't no developer. The only thing he does, left hand like running. Look at that, boy. Look at all the love running getting. Boy, y'all must not even rock with your boy. Hey, look, though. The only thing I'm saying is, man, Look, we know the game is not the greatest game right now, and we it's not in the greatest state. That don't mean we can't have fun with the game and in the community and keep stuff lighthearted and stuff. Now, Ronnie, you do need to fit, you do need to influence the people to fix the damn game. But hey, have fun, go crazy, do your thing, man. And uh, then somebody else says we beat you though. Hey, statistics says statistics. You ain't beating stat anyway, but hey, stat said hey, but we beat you though. Hey, but you know it is what it is though. Hey, what's that? My question is how how can he see? How can he see what that hell me on? I don't run it. I don't think Ronnie remembers saying that. Bro, this is so much. This is hilarious. When you look at doggone running 2K's Twitter, man, they love running one day, they hate him the next. It is what it is. But apparently running streams on caffeine, the only problem with it is you can't go back and watch videos on caffeine. So you just got to catch him when he's streaming. I don't know why he streams over there. You need to stream on Twitch, Ronnie. Get into the real world, my guy. Do your thing. But, uh, you know, hey, like I said, we're going to have as much fun as we can with this broke-ass game for for right now. I'm enjoying the game, man, but like I said, I play Rec. I play Park by myself a lot of the times. And then a lot of other times, bro, when, when I really, really, when I really, really play this game, I'm playing my career. I enjoy those games. Yes, I do know the game has a lot, leaves a lot to be designed and it needs to be fixed. But what I'm saying is that don't mean that I can't enjoy it because like some of these kids said, like I was looking on Reddit the other day and people was like, just stop playing the game. Bro, a lot of these kids is just like me. They were saying, bro, you know how much uh, 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 allowance I had to save up and how much grass I had to cut and all that to pay for this $60 game? I'd be damned if I'm gonna stop playing. And that's the same thing I said. You know how many hours I had to work to get Okay, well, it probably wasn't even a whole hour I had to work to get this game. But that ain't the point. The point is, I don't waste money. No matter how insignificant the unit is, I, bro, I don't waste money. I don't like wasting things. I go, Bridget can attest to this. Bridget, I go into the store. They try to give me a bag. What I be telling them? I don't need no bag. Hell yeah. I just don't like to waste stuff. So, so nothing is going to go to waste. So I'm going to play the game, and I got the game free on Xbox, and I got my controller. And as soon as I get my Cronus mag where I can play this, hey, if y'all know how you can use a PlayStation controller on the Xbox, let me know down in the comments because this controller costs 180 bucks. I'm not using anything else other than this controller for the remainder of my gaming career. I'm just... I promise. I, I, hey, look, I haven't slammed it yet. I don't want it to slam it, but I haven't slammed it, man. Anyway, on time. Hey, shut up. I was having an awful gaming experience last night, but I met some cool dudes in the park and we was getting it in until somebody glitched the court in there. Somebody came on there and tried to drop me off and do an exposed video. His name was like, drop him off or something. And I dropped 14 on his head and after that, mysteriously, the game didn't work. But anyway, on to the next thing. Uh, 2K Intel says, some words about old 2K ser servers being re-enabled again from the devs. And, br and bro, like basically, long and short, sorry, man, it's just not something that will happen. I mean, that's really what it is, but here is go. Okay, here's the thing, man. I could propose, I could propose that and if the devs have, have uh, and if dev says no, I could advocate for the community. All right, so uh, the dev team is working on 2K20 and building for a brand new console generation. Of course, you be you be okay with pulling developers away from, you be okay, oh, he's asking the question now. So you be okay with pulling developers away from a brand new console generation of 2Ks to manage servers for ye from years ago for a very small group relative to, relative to how many people actually play the game. This is what I always say. We're not the only people that play the game. The people that play the park and stuff, bro, you're a relatively small group. We are dropping the bucket. If there are a million people that play park, which it's gotta be less than that because the highest person that ever got up there off a of park was like Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy Fredo and those guys. And let's say Duke right now, so 700,000. Even though Fredo's well over three or four or five million, he didn't get there by playing park. Let's say Duke is one of the biggest people by playing park, 700,000. Let's say a million people are in the 2K park community. The game sells like 20, 30 million. I don't know how many copies. Let's say it sells 20 million copies. We sold 14 at the last time I saw it. We are a drop in the bucket. That is 1 20th. That's 5% 
of, of, of your total people, then they're not gonna do it. So it's okay, so relative to how many people play the game. And before you say hire more devs, consider that takes time, pulls away from developing the game and having and having them work on a game that few people play. But as Ronnie said, it can't be done. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. Now I do want hey look, this is something that he talked to somebody about, and I, I can understand all that. But see, like I said, like I, I understand that part. Bro, I don't care about y'all working on the last game. Last game is over and done with. Y'all need to be hiring devs for the new games. Uh, the, the excuse that it, that that's gonna pull people away, what y'all don't have an HR department, bro. Get the fuck out of my face with that craziness, bro. Like, come on, y'all don't have HR? Y'all really don't have HR. So we supposed to believe that you are, that, that, that a dev, that the whole dev team is gonna, well, they done pissed me off this morning. So the whole dev team is gonna step away and go hire two or three people or, hi, or however many people that you need on your staff. I guess they just think we stupid. The whole dev team, he said, look, before and before you say hire more devs, consider that takes time, pulls up away from developing the game and having them work on a game to, bro. Now I understand the other stuff, like we don't care about the other people, but saying that hiring more people takes people away from the game, bro. The person that hiring people shouldn't even be working on the game unless the person that's hiring people is doing the final interview. I've never had a final interview that took more than an hour. And that's talking about me coming to the facility, getting getting signed in, get all my tags and stuff, going upstairs. The interview is what, about 15 minutes? Yeah, give or take. 15 minutes, give well, or take. Well, well, one minute. The interview is over by the time they see you and see what you're talking about, to be real. And you, the rest of it is just a formality. That's that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard anybody say. But you cool, but that's a lame-ass excuse, my guy. I'm not going for that. It takes time to hire somebody. Yeah, it takes time to hire people and get them acclimated and get them in there, but my God, the people... Anyway, man, let's just move on to something else, man, because this guy seems like a cool guy, and he seems like he's just doing... I just followed him on Twitter and all of that stuff. Hey, Mike, Mike Eichrott... What is it, I can roll? I guess it's what it is. I don't know how to say it. But I understand what he's trying to say, that everything in this world takes time. We, we bring stuff full circle. I ain't gonna try to just bash him. Everything in the world takes time. But hiring somebody, bro, doing 2K TV takes time. Putting out these patches takes time. Doggone, doing different episodes and having your game, your director of gameplay tweeting takes time. It doesn't take that much time to get more staff. My guy, competent staff. Of obviously that takes time because you haven't done that yet. Woo, but, yay. but hey, it is what it is, man. I, don't, I just don't like when people try to play people like they're less intelligent. We're not stupid. We gonna play the game, but that don't mean we stupid. We stupidly buy the game, but it's the only basketball game that's viable on the market. It is what it is. I understand what you're trying to say. It was just bad delivery, my guy. Next up, last but not least, wanna be a dribble guy? Watch this. 2K Intel says no, young dirt has out a video on how on how to uh dribble man hey check this out man look the one thing that i say about this video is he's doing some di look at that hey look at that look at, like stuff like that it's it's momentum dribble and stuff like that i have not seen the spammings of behind the back and, and all of that stuff and it might be coming see there it is right there everything ends and it begins and ends with it it is what it is. But if you want to be a dribble god and learn some different dribble moves, do your thing. Uh, hey, go check this video out. Check out Young Dirk. He only got 2,000 views on it. Uh, but we know y'all boys want to be a dribble god. So y'all go check that video out, man. And that's pretty much all we got for y'all today. Did we make 12 minutes? Now, I'm sorry, Mike. I can row. Is that I can row? I don't know. I can rock. Look, I know you guys are busy. And I know that you have a lot to do. But the company that I work for, I'm the head technician. It does not take me, I would never say, I would never tell the people that pay my bills, the company that I work for, whatever, the people that pay my bills, that we can't hire more staff because that takes more time. I'm no, I don't want you to hire more staff to get these old ass servers. I don't care about them old ass servers. Let's hire more staff going forward during the off time, those two weeks after the game come out where y'all ain't doing nothing or the eight months, hire some staff then. 
but I would never tell the company that I work for that I can't hire staff because that's gonna take time away from me. Well, my client, because we're the client. So the company, I, I work for a company, but we have clients out in the field. So I would never tell them that that's gonna take time away from 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 us. That that takes time to 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 to, to uh, get staff, and I can't work on your network the right way because I gotta hire people. They would tell me, you well, if that's the case, then that's why you need more people. If you don't even have the time to hire more people, don't that mean that you need more people? So if I went in there and told them that, well, we can't hire nobody because I'm working on the network, they would look at me like I was a cold, a stone cold idiot. Like, bro, we are paying you the money to be able to afford more staff. So why don't you just go get them? That's not a good enough excuse. You guys need more staff. You're clearly on the staff. Damn them old servers. I don't care about nothing that's old. Those games are over and done with. They were good when they were good. And if you go back to them, they're going to feel like they're terrible because you can't do the things you can do now. I love you guys. I love the enthusiasm. I love you being forthcoming and just saying, hey, look, I agree with everything, but that part just ticked me off when you said hire more staff. Come on, bro. Bro, stop. Stop. There's some intelligent people in this world. Some people, I know I don't act like it, but I am the lead tech for this company. And I'm pretty much the dude that makes damn near all the decisions. So when if I were to tell somebody, tell the, tell the CEO of the company that I provide the IT for that we can't hire more staff because that's going to pull me away from their network, he would say, well, who the hell is your IR department? Uh, your, uh, not uh, IR, HR. Who is HR? Who is doing the, the interviews and stuff like that? You have a department that's doing, that's what they would do. look at me like I'm a stone cold idiot. And then I would probably lose the account. But you know that's not gonna happen, man, my, my guy. Come on, man, we're not about to do that. But I'm just saying, come on, that's not, a, that's, that's not a good enough excuse for why you're not adding more staff. You clearly need more staff. You're working on two games for two different systems, or you're working on one lame-ass game that you're gonna port, and it's gonna be even lamer on the other system. I ain't got time for this, man. I gotta get back because this is pulling me away from from uh from working on the network. So I'm gonna go work on that and I'm gonna blame get, get come on man. Anyway, man, I I'm, I'm sorry I lost it. Look, let's bring it full circle. I like your enthusiasm. It's awesome, Mike. I just think that that was wrong. And that, that was that, that was <laughs> just just say, you know what? It ain't in the budget right now cuz if you say that then you look you going to sign anything that you would have said, you should have just left that out. Because anything that you would have said would have sounded bad. It's not in the budget. How how is it not you made over a billion dollars? Um and you can't and you can't say the higher ups won't allow. That's what it really is. The higher ups won't allow y'all to buy to, to get staff because they're trying to maximize the money and pinch every penny because they want to give that money to the investors and they don't give a damn about y'all. That's really what it is. You can't say it. I can't. You still my guy. I'm gonna follow you. I appreciate the transparency and being forthcoming and all that. I just don't think that was the right way to say it. But you said the only thing that you really could say in this situation. That's what I'm trying to say. I understand because I, I have to be in front of people sometimes too and I have to get a politically correct answer. If they say, why don't you hire more staff? I can't say because we broke as hell but chasing dreams. I have to just say, hey, because I handle all this and this person handles that and that person handles that. I have to give my client the politically correct answer. That was the best answer that you could give us. We're not accepting it. But hey, nice try. Anyway, got to get up out of here, man. If you from up north, do you like, I mean, up north, down south, do you prefer grits or farina? Once again, I say grits. Or for Rena. The video was 12 minutes, but then I lost it on that little thing. I gotta get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until uh, next time, Daddy? it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Hello! Hello! You, you, wanna, want to brush your teeth? you wanna brush your teeth? Let's go brush yeah. our teeth. Yes! Say Godspeed. Yeah. Say Godspeed. Say Godspeed. Godspeed!